Yo guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I get into this video, make sure you like, subscribe and share, tell a friend to tell a friend, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, it's uh, week one of Ramadan. It's pretty much more or less well underway. Um, and this one is going to be a little bit different because I want to just address some bits and pieces and just give my take on this topic, innit? So, funny intro. Okay, so more or less, you see by the title, why I think motivation is sh Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try and improve my habits. I don't really wanna swear anymore because for the on camera, I don't really swear that much, but around my friends, I do swear very much, uh, very, very regularly, and I try not to. Uh, I'm trying to improve that about my sense. But um, I just personally feel this is a very important topic that I want to talk about because I want to address it specifically but in a different way that most people think I would address it. So let me try and explain it the best I can. I do believe everyone needs some type of motivation and it always depends on the circle that you're a part of. It could be your friends, it could be your family, it could be your work colleagues, it could be you know your neighbours, that sort of stuff. However, I think motivation is shit. To the point where it comes down to where you have to solely depend on other people to help you get out of the situation you're in and always into into some into like doing a habit because there's like there's a saying and i think it was proven by some study i don't know if it's true but there's a saying where it says it takes 21 days to make something a habit and 90 days for that habit to become a lifestyle um so that is just like a sort of reminder for you because motivation usually comes from the type of lifestyle you have uh, essentially because there'll be some people like for me I'm not gonna lie I'm not the most active person in terms of like physical activity I, I probably play when it's not Ramadan and it's like I'm, I've got spare time I play football at least twice a week usually weekends because I run my own Sunday league team check out London Legacy make sure you follow us on Instagram support the team guys <laughs> shameless self promo of my own football club <laughs> but um, the way I really believe everything is to pan out is because when we look at everything as a whole if you have to solely rely on motivation from external factors it's really gonna always impact how you live your day-to-day -day life when you're by yourself so for example um, me I used to sh not give a damn about working out a lot until life got in the way and then obviously certain things were happening to my body and obviously yeah i was experiencing a lot of like usually back pains um my legs were tiring a lot quicker i wasn't um, i wasn't as fit so the sunday league team i got is sort of a reason to kind of keep myself active and stay as healthy as i possibly can um i also feel like it, you shouldn't have to rely on people to go do things by yourself like there are a lot of people that they can't go out okay i think i can understand from an aspect of like if you suffer from anxiety or you're like you know you have a social disorder or like you have social anxiety or stuff like that don't get it i used to have i used to think i used to have a, a sort of degree of social anxiety because it was quite weird to do things alone but recently i go to cinemas regularly because i motivate myself to just be like you know what what's the worst that can happen to go to cinema alone um i go to eat food alone regularly a lot of people say oh but i can't eat food without my friends Listen, at the end of the day, your friends are not going to feed you physically unless it's a different situation in that respect. So please be mindful. If you are able and well, then obviously your friends won't feed you. But even if you're someone who is of a, a different ability, you can still eat by yourself. Like you have to look at so many people in the world that are like, you know, they're not as fully able-bodied as, as the rest of us are. Alhamdulillah that I'm one of the many that are able. And there's many people that I've come across that aren't um, entirely able and they've done amazing things by themselves. Like look at the people who compete in the Paralympics. Well, look, look their motivation their motivation is to show people that they're able to do a normal person's thing like they compete in swimming they compete in archery they compete in uh, athletics track like, i think they compete in their own types of tracks events um that sort of stuff that's the sort of stuff you need to understand like motivation in itself is pointless and every time i see people post these like for me not gonna like i was one of these people so i'm shooting myself in the foot here but this was how i was two years ago before the whole pandemic began I used to rely entirely on those 
you know motivation videos you used to see on Instagram and Snapchat and YouTube and I realized the only best well the only tool of motivation that one can really use is themselves um, purely because if you don't invest time into yourself and you don't give it your all you're really gonna struggle uh, purely like you're gonna struggle to improve your sense of self reliability because you have to always rely on the help of other people like you have to rely on your friends to tell you oh come on let's go gym oh you have to rely on your feet you have to rely on your friends to tell you oh let's go out for a motive let's go bowling let's go partying let's go eat food da, da, da. okay it's just I, I don't party but you can kind of get the idea some people find it quite awkward to go partying alone just to enjoy their own time and then you know you never know sometimes you may make friends if you go partying alone highly unlikely but you know just one of those things <laughs> um just in terms of my take as of it's a very short vlog i know it's not the longest video i just feel that a lot of us need to be more appreciative and understand that if you can't motivate yourself eventually something will have to change and it's usually not the external factors it's always the internal that has to change the, the, the first first and foremost and secondly um thing that needs to change a lot more as well is your attitude to life so if you're overweight or you're insecure about your body do things that make you uncomfortable but do them alone like go gym alone go running alone go lift weights alone eat healthier food in, in restaurants alone get comfortable doing things that take you out of your comfort zone because a lot of people will find like they're stuck in this this world of comfort and it's just you know i i was part of that world i was very reliant on i would never for me i never used to go out on a motive alone i always used to have friends or family simple very simple um, but alhamdulillah, I, I put myself out of my comfort zone. And I think really the whole lockdown thing did heighten a lot of people's social anxiety, but it also helped a lot of people come out of their shell and do things they wanted to do because they had never done them before during the first lockdown and stuff like that. That's what I believe is the best way to deal with this sort of stuff. So like at the end of the day, motivation is great, but the only person who could really motivate you is yourself you just have to look yourself in the mirror and just be like look you gotta do this if we don't do this we're not gonna achieve when if we, if we, if we blah, 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 blah. um if we don't put if we don't do point a we're never gonna get to point b and if we don't do point x we're never gonna get to point y that sort of stuff okay i don't know why i didn't say c or d right after that i said x and y weird um <laughs> but the the basics of motivation come from understanding your inner belief and develop that inner confidence and just sort of you know put yourself in a position where you can do things that you know make you better and not have to depend or rely on external factors to help you kick this kick this of your of yourself kick your beautiful black like, talented mind into that state of oh i need to do this because if i don't do this i'm gonna gonna struggle and i'm always gonna be doing this and i'm gonna be broken i'm gonna be no no listen calm down take a breath go out just try it once oh, like even if even if it comes to like going to, to get takeaways because a lot of us have just the uber eats delivery thank god i've deleted all of them by the way because they got rented out my bank account but um but even going out to get a takeaway sometimes is a big step for people so use this as a reason to just go to your local chinese go to your local kebab shop your local bossman's chicken shop your local corner shop go there by yourself and just get something like to eat simply just for yourself it's very simple it's not complex at all um and then it's, it's a stepping stone to then you know you can go eat by yourself you can go do activities by yourself you know uh, there are some, some sort of activities that you have to re do with friends but try to do a lot of your things and motivate yourself to do these things alone um hopefully that kind of that video kind of made made sense I think it made sense in parts if it did sound a bit confusing i do apologize it's the first time i've done like a rolling video like this without a script and it's, it's insane but you can tell from myself i'm not a natural at youtube but listen we're super close but um we're super close to growing this family like we're super super close to 1000 subscribers and i can't thank everyone enough of how much support you have given me since i started this channel nearly three years ago and it's crazy i'm really hoping i can hit the thousand subscribers mark but Ooh, I really hope I can hit the <laughs> really can hope they have the 1000 subscribers mark by the end of Ramadan, inshallah. But on that note, take care, stay blessed, peace, Ramadan Kareem to everyone who's watching. If I haven't told you Ramadan Kareem by DMing you or anything else in between, 
um, and have fun. <laughs>